The Pentagon confirming late Thursday night that the U.S. military had conducted a strike that killed General Qasem Soleimani, the leader of the Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, an organization that the U.S. has blamed for multiple deaths in Iraq and a, an increasing number of attacks against the U.S. in recent weeks and months. The U.S. military taking this strike in Baghdad International Airport. Two vehicles were destroyed in the strike, according to the Iraqi military. The U.S. saying Soleimani was targeted both because he's being a head of a U.S. designated foreign terrorist organization, but also because he was actively planning attacks against U.S. personnel in the region and had been behind a recent rocket attack by Iranian-linked proxy group that had killed an American contractor and recent demonstrations that attempted to breach the outer perimeter of the American embassy in Baghdad. U.S. military very much casting this as a defensive action. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper spoke to reporters prior to news of the strike, telling them that the game had changed with regards to Iran and its proxies and that the U.S. would act preemptively to defend American lives and interests in the region. This strike very much an example of that. Now, the President Trump had already ordered additional U.S. military forces to the region in the wake of the events involving the embassy and the rocket attacks. Some 100 Marines were sent to the embassy. Hundreds of more paratroopers were deployed to Kuwait to respond in the event of a crisis. So those troops could be called in if the situation escalates. Many believe that Iran will likely retaliate for this action, given General Soleimani's stature within the Iranian military. But all will be watching what happens next in this region. But, this, but the, the seriousness of the situation and of this development cannot be understated. Ryan Brown, The Pentagon.